same steps that I had encountered the other day with the same person do and guess what I was right on cue where um, I didn't allow for it didn't even come up this time like neither here nor there not anywhere see how we have to put into practice our mindfulness living with absolute tender loving care okay but that's not where I was going over there. It was just interesting that that had occurred. But, um, so what was I saying prior to all of this? Yeah, so, but here we go. So this here is to a letter to my empaths. Those that, um, understand themselves better and being empathic in every kind of way that you know the deal when it comes to those kind of things so everyone that relates to being empathic hear me out because <laughs> today was a heavy day yesterday was a heavy day this whole damn month is gonna be heavy days <laughs> perception you see but this is the reality that is coming into awareness for me about how as empaths we no matter how conscious we are no matter how mindful we are no matter how much we fine or tune and put into um, practice being consciously aware of the active energies that exist all around and our absorption rates <laughs> how we receive it ain't playing around when you receive when you're an open receiver and you finally come into terms with um, the weight that this comes with there's no turning it off to turn it off is to numb dumb and go, you know, completely um, shut down mode, you know, what you block, we already learned this part, you know, if we're not open to love, like, it's just like, that's an example, and I'm just using love as an example, because I am love, but, you know, um, using love as an example, that if I shut down the, the valve of love, I'm also sh not only shutting down the giving, and the, I'm also shutting down the receiving. It's the same with the empathic thing. You have to master, tune, finer tune, get to know your inner grooves of how this, you know, works for you. It's one thing to be conscious of it and say, oh, I feel so greatly. It is both a bless, a blessing and a curse to feel so deeply. And then just to accept that reality of it and feel so deeply and be so affected. So many <coughs> on this journey, you see, part of, you know, our learning collectively is the mastering of this empathy thing. You know, how do you, you know, there's like, someone asked me, what's wrong? Sad. Then I get into my corner of my spiritual, my spiritual space. I said to myself, I'm like, what is wrong with me? Nothing, my dear. For you are feeling everything around from the collective. Do you not remember this? Oh, yes. But how do I, how do I then be when I feel things so deep? Because all these other motherfuckers around me cannot feel their feels and so they suppress it and that's real and then empath is I on these lands going through my own times trying times too like you know we all 
kind of things that we must master and we must do and you know there's a lot on everyone's shoulders but to feel so deeply to cry for those that don't cry and then people to look at me hey what's wrong this time oh I'm sad well well I'll be dead you better get your shit together you can't be sad on these lands you got a lot of things going for yourself man don't be sad well well you think I want to feel this way ah but aren't you master of the alchemy that you put out in your energy. Huh? Is that you? So what you talking about? Aren't you conscious too? Of these feelings that you have that you absorb from all these lands and the things that you have to do that help the collective too. You're crying. Heals. For it is a release. Ah, oh, yes, I see these things. So when people ask me, what am I feeling? I'm not supposed to feed into the sad wonderland that exists on many lands. That I'm purging, purging for all of you that refuse to go in to your well, for your wellness. Ah, these impacts you see, we come down hard on them, on these earthly lands. Oh, sensitive are they oh, to take the stand in command? To do what most don't do, man. <laughs> I am pals. I feel you. So then, I'm like, okay, thanks for the chat spirit. I feel so much better to realize that I'm doing myself a justice too because I gotta get through. Because also, if you were looking at my notes, like I write, I free write. Listen, I'm not like I know there's like a, a, a way to do everything that is, you know, tried and true, test, tried and tested, tested and true, and proves to work. And you know, there's all these methods that work for everyone else. I know everyone else. <laughs> so, our babbles, the Tantris, the babbler, that's I on this evolutionary ride. Thank you for joining me here. Thank you, my dudes. Okay. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. That I will say and tune in with the vibes of these times. You know, all my YouTubers out there. I show lots of love to all my YouTubers out there that I freaking love. There's a lot of you out there that just get my juices flowing and make me laugh too when I be watching your videos. But anyways, welcome in Tetris the Bowler to YouTube land. Taking an empathic stand. But anyways, okay. Dramatic is alright. I know, I know, I know. And this evolutionary, right? That lady was looking at me and she's like, oh, she's talking. My jokes. Maybe you should tune into her judge the partner and then you would see everything that I was talking about on this, you know, when I was driving. Okay. But what was I saying? Okay. Back to Google Center. So, yeah. So, standing ovation to you empathic soul that are so strong and bold to go into the ocean and swim and then receive your lifeguard badge of honor To know that I'm not alone. You are not alone. I'm telling you, this song came up for me earlier today when I was um, with a client today. Um, 
feels to be trending the sad feeling of just you know that's revealing itself through the collective healer approach, huh? Uh, this keeps going up my nose. And I've been emotional. And so, no, I feel stuffy. But, um, yeah, we gotta check ourselves. Always, we gotta give ourselves that emo check point. Because it's so easy to get caught up out there in the collective vortex that will swallow you whole in that ocean that will leave you to feel like you're drowning. It's astounding when one courageously takes charge and knows that they are equipped, equipped to sustain such a journey. And to transmute it. Knowing. That everything they do. Consciously living too. Boom. It's in the. It's for the betterment. Of. Oh. I didn't know. I just. Because I'm a crazy driver. <laughs> no, I'm not. I take that back. Okay. So, let me go. Okay. The road. I'm on the road. On the road again. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in with Enchantress. That's me. The Babbler. That's me. On this evolutionary uprise of revolutionary times that evolutionizing the freaking air you are breathing in. Alchemy's for the win. Keep tuning in. Mm-hmm.